Hello. In this video, I'm looking at pre-filtration for ultraviolet disinfection, UV for short. UV is very effective at treating private water supplies in the UK. It removes all the main pathogens, Cryptosporidium, Giardia, Campylobacter and, uh, and E. coli. It does this with, without adding chemicals, therefore it doesn't alter the taste of the water. Now, a, a private water supply could be a, a spring, a borehole, a well, a stream, or it could be rainwater. At the heart of a UV system is the UV bulb or germicidal lamp. This sits inside a quartz sleeve, which in turn sits inside the UV body. The water passes over the outside of the quartz sleeve. Therefore, it's very important that the surface of the quartz sleeve is kept as clean as possible because any buildup of dirt or discoloration can reduce the efficiency of the UV system, which can be particularly problematic in areas where you get high concentrations of iron and manganese. This is a quartz sleeve taken from quite a large UV that's feeding a borehole supply. And you can see it's got quite a thick, uh, 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 a th a th a thick skin of, of iron and manganese on the surface. I'm surprised, I'd be surprised if this worked at all, certainly with this level of contamination. The problem can also occur in hard water areas where you get calcium carbonate, the, the calcium and magnesium build up on the surface, again, greatly reducing the efficiency of the UV system. If you do live in a hard water area or you do have high concentrations of iron and manganese, you may need specialist filtration if you are installing a UV system. You might need a water softener or an iron reduction system. And that's why we strongly recommend that you have your water tested before you purchase any equipment. You can contact the local environmental health they can come out and do a sample, or if you're in the north of England, you can contact Spring Hill Water. And we'll come out, test the water, we'll work out what equipment you need and where the equipment can best be installed. Now, if your water quality is generally good, then a pre-filter such as this is perfectly adequate. Especially if you put a five micron filter inside. 5 micron prevents an effect called shadowing whereby pathogens could theoretically hide behind small particles as they pass through the chamber and they, they, could, they, they, they may not get treated completely. If your water gets discoloured after heavy rainfall or a snow melt you may want two filter housings, a 25 micron in the first housing and a 5 micron in the second. If you're on a spring supply, you may have peat in the water. The water may look like a weak tea after heavy rainfall, in which case a carbon block inside the filter housing will greatly reduce that discoloration. Filter cartridges need changing every three to six months, depending on how much water you use and the level of contamination in the water. The UV bulb needs changing every 12 months. Now, when you come to change your filter cartridge, look on the inside surface, inside the hole here, and if, if you can see discoloration on the inside, then you may have left the filter change too long. If you get too much of what we call breakthrough, then you can find discoloration and particles building up on the outside of the, of the surface of the quartz sleeve, in which case you'd have to clean the quartz sleeve. And a word of caution here, Removing the quartz sleeve can be very tricky. Quartz is very brittle and it's easy to crack or it's easy to break it. So if you are going to undertake this kind of work, we'd strongly recommend that you have a spare on hand in case of an emergency. Or why not call in Spring Hill? Let us do the work. <laughs> Thank you for watching.